Hey there, tankers. Seattle Forge here, and I haven't, uh, you know, for the last uh, couple of years, I haven't made a lot of videos. Uh, it's not as fun as it used to be. Um, I used to make a lot of the videos for the, the clan, and it was kind of fun, uh, and the audience didn't really grow from that. But so, it, but anyway, I, I thought, you know, keep giving this a try. Anyway, I am in the T50-2, which was a giveaway for people who'd been playing the game for a long time, and it is a devil of a tank. And here I'm working on my second mark. Oh, a present for me? A present just for me? Hope it's just for me. Hope it's just for me. Is it just for me? All me, our artillery missed. <laughs> All right, so that's a nice start. I got the first kill of the game. Eight in artillery. I think that's unusual. All right, this 25-2 is a Soviet tier six light tank. And it's very similar to the T-50, which is the tier five tech tree light tank, which is the only tank I've ever three marked. And I'm working on two marking this one. And also, I'm hoping for a nice little score for the Saturday showdown, which this week is just, you know, get better than a second class badge, or get a second class badge or higher in any tank. And I can print better than second class badges in this tank. So I'm sure we'll come up perhaps. Now, airfield is one of my least favorite maps. It favors uh, defense. It favors not pushing. Now, you can't give ground, but you can't push. And we are up two to nothing, but the scores will change quite a bit over the course of this game. And as you can see, we're balanced on hit points. So we're up by two. We've got you know, two more guns, but they still have a lot of their hit points left. So we're doing a lot of damage. We're not taking out a lot of tanks. And this thing has uh, actually disgusting vision. And I picked up the Wolverine over here. And then we yank a shot, I think. Yeah, put it behind him. Uh, what are a couple characteristics of this tank? It has a very punchy, very fast uh, gun. So it puts out a lot of shells. And in my, in my, uh, I did that, what do you call it? The thing where you modify your tank after the fact that I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, I did take a decrease in uh, DPM in order to get this thing to be uh, a little faster and a little more durable. And I've set this thing up to be a scout, so I've, I don't have a rammer in it, and I, and I put a turbo in it. And uh, its vision is something like 480. So I do burn up other people's camo and do burn up the bushes a little bit. I'm gonna throw the occasional blind shot out here, and we're tied up 4-4, and the hit points are almost down. It's T37, uh-huh. Always nice to tag your opposite number, the other tier six tank. Now, the other thing I want to mention about this game that I forgot to is that uh, I'm top tier, so it's a tier six, tier five game. I'm top tier, and for a light tank, that's a dream. I mean, it's certainly a dream for heavies because when they go up tiers, they really suffer, but uh, yeah, their armor's pretty useless and they're slow and their DPM's bad and their penetration's less than you know, mediums and TDs. But our M7 has pushed on, and he's going to capture the base at this early point in time, and I don't think so. So I just, uh, I like my little bush here. The other bush I like is kind of where the Thunderbolt on our team is. At least from the side. We're up again, we're up on his weight, so pretty nice. So, but I'm, I can actually exercise quite a bit of vision here. I don't know too bad that PDR is behind a rock. The T-37 making a runaway with the one in there. This T-37 leads a charmed life. He does lead a term like because he, he does some pretty dumb things, and he doesn't pay for it. I hate when people get away with being dumb for free. All right, so I'm also trying to work on the three mark here, and I have gotten as high as 84.7, and then back down to 80, and then 84.5, and then back down to 81. You know, it only takes one bad game, and I had a streak of bad games. That knocked me down to 79, so now I'm back up here to like 82.7. 83, I don't know. Anyway, oh, look at this! We're scaling the rock. This is a clever jump. Couldn't get away with this in an American tank, and let's see what the judges' scores are. Oh! East Germany, 10. Nice little satellite value. And, of course, the Americans, they don't like the Soviet tank, so they give it a little score. But the Soviet Union comes through with an 11.5. You'd think that was impossible, as the rating is out of 10, but... You know, Russia does what Russia does. See if the judges allow it in the end of the day. All right, I got two kills under my belt. It is nine to seven. We're up on hit points. That's pretty nice. But you know, it was funny. I I bolted out of there. I ran, scrambled down that cliff face because their heavies were all pushing into the middle, and their heavies paid. Their heavies paid. 
Now there's next to nobody in the middle. And we're going to have these stragglers who are hiding out in the back. So this is a dangerous maneuver. I don't recommend it for everybody. I don't recommend it for somebody who says that there's somebody over there. All right, over on your left. But I'm really worried about this A1. And oh, we bounce off of him. But here we got some nice side shots. We'll take that. And he finally does spot me. His vision is not terribly clever. Well, and my camouflage is actually quite good. My, my crew on this, I had on my T50, which... Um, you know, I was three marking and it got quite good. Got quite good. And then I moved it up to the T100 LT. And I kept my crew on my T54 lightweight. So this crew is actually pretty boss. It's about five skills. Oh, and I get a lucky bounce from Hellcat because Soviet, yes. Russia, yes. And I kind of overplay a little bit. I am. Um, I almost go so far around the other side to run in front of his gun. You see me do that a few times because I keep forgetting the alpha on this gun is terrible. I mean, the DPM is fantastic, and of course, I bounced one off from the T-37, which, thank you, Russia. Thank you, Russia. Let's see if we can get one more. The T-37 pegs me while reversing on the move. Lucky. Lucky. And my M44, I don't know how many times he's going to shoot me, because if we'd been in the old days where, you know, you could do damage to your teammates, I, I think I would have been wiped out a couple times by my own team. Not good. Not good. In any case, we were able to take down the Hellcat. A little help. And I find the BDR, and I hope he doesn't shoot me. Hope he doesn't shoot me. And I'm going to go finish off the T37, yes. And let's see if we can get behind. I mean, it really starts to roll at some point. You know, that team pushed in, they lost a ton of their tanks, and then we're able to move in and go and find these the boo heads. But you notice that uh, my teammates were a little slow in the action here. And this is another case where I think I'm going to wipe this guy out, but no, I leave him with 20 hit points. And then I got in front of his gun, but luckily he fires way too late. And I'm able to run in and start putting the finishing touches on this BDR. Now the Thunderbolt is like, don't hog all the damage. And the M44 shoots me again. And the Thunderbolt is pissed. He's like, I drove all the way over here, you prick. It's too anyway, I had a nice game. Let's have a look at the post-game stats. How nice. Got myself an ace. And I got a bruiser. And then I got a Pescucci's because I took out two artillery. And then very elusive in light tanks, the Top Gun. So I did manage to scoot around the board and pick up those kills and the timing is everything because the, the alpha on that gun is like 100, maybe. Most of the shots are 90. You know, what are you going to do with that? Uh, win 8, 14,858. So I guess I exceeded what the expectations of the tank are. Next page, please. Uh, 1,446 base XP. I would hope that's an ace on a tier 6 tank. Uh, and I was not top on damage. Not top. The BDR on the other team actually was farming folks like crazy from his little spot back there. So, as I said, kids, it doesn't pay to push. And that was a tier 5 who was just farming the heck out of our team. And the T37, who was haunting the entire game, uh, unfortunately for, for them, he, you know, he, he did, did like almost 700 damage. But, you know, he, he lasted. But uh, he wasn't me. He wasn't me. But then he didn't have my tank. You know, my damage was no slouch either, 20, 2,531 damage. But, you know, I only did 775 assistance, so, you know, they really weren't following up what I was spotting, so it really was time for me to get my gun in action. And I did spend a little bit of uh, premium ammo. Uh, yeah, it cost me uh, 92,400 credits for just the ammo. But luckily, I still came in at a profit because I didn't go ham on the ammunition. Anyway, that's a guide to it. That's how you play airfield, and that's how you play this tank. Uh, it actually is actually a really good scout. The only thing I tell you is uh, uh, it doesn't take corners really well. It is the tippiest tank, the narrow track, and it's very tall, and the turret's heavy, and it flips like crazy. I've spent so many games on my side, so don't, don't do that. Anyway, have a great day.